continuing to work on this extended planting area on the rock steps and the dry stacked wall. On this hillside, I want to continue prepping a planting area. So what I've done, I had a lot of leguminous weeds or plants. Here's the patch that I'm leaving. There's still a handful in flower, but the sequence of events is the plant grows, then it flowers, and then after the flowers are gone, it starts to produce these seeds. And that is a good indicator that it's part of the legume family, so that's your peas and beans. And it looks like a little bean pod. But those are uh, nitrogen fixers, and they're really beneficial if you were to cut them down at this stage. There'd be an influx of nitrogen, so if you had another plant next to this one, like a peach tree or something like that, and you cut that one, that one will be resilient and grow back, and it'll actually benefit the fruit tree or the uh, keystone species that you're trying to uh, cultivate. So, leaving a patch, and I had some in the area that I needed to get rid of, so instead of chopping them down and uh, burning them or, or trying to compost them. I'm just putting them straight right here uh, where they can break down over time and then I'll continue building this wall up. Material will keep breaking down and this will be excellent fertile soil to, uh, to plant my next species of fruit bearing shrub in. Here's another area that got a similar treatment. These are tomato plants that were finished with the harvest, so the, the stalks got pulled up, and they are just sitting here to rot, and then that is going to keep the ground warmer in the winter, and it's going to create more, uh, allow more insects to move in. It's going to aerate the soil. All kind of good stuff is going to happen when we start piling organic material, and then don't move it, don't till it. It's just going to keep growing and growing, and then... The, re the change really starts to happen when we get this area planted and we make sure it has plenty of water, which there's a basin up there. This is another basin. This is going to be an extremely productive area and it's very, very small.